Hey guys, one of my infamous rants. There's one I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Again, it's probably going to piss some people off. And again, I don't care. I don't. And it's, uh, about niche fragrances. Creed in particular, because I don't have a lot of other niche. I've got a couple Tom Ford private blends, and that's really about it. And a few decants of Creed, a few different Creeds, Millicene Imperial, uh, Aventus, uh, Virgin Island Water, uh, Green Irish Tweed, and another one. I can't remember the name of it now. Um, The question is, is it worth it? You know, and they just seem to keep going up too, man. I was on today looking at a couple sites and Christ, Ventus, man, it's like $455 or something like that for a fucking bottle of fucking perfume. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Holy fuck. I bought my first Creed. Uh, I'm thinking... 2001-ish, you know, I'd been working for a few years, you know, better job, not making minimum wage anymore. So, you know, my first credit card, went online at the time, that was cool, brand, almost brand new really to buy online. <laughs> I bought a bottle of, a uh, small bottle of uh, Green Irish Tweed and it was only a hundred and... Thirty. I was only thirty mil or whatever it was, but it was one hundred and thirty, hundred forty dollars, with shipping and taxes and shit. Like it came out to be about one hundred sixty something dollars, and I thought that was expensive, and it was, still is for a bottle of perfume, but uh, especially a small, small bottle. Jeez, I'm looking at the same bottle today, little bottle of fucking Green Irish Tweed, almost four hundred fucking dollars, you know. Jesus Christ. But the question is, is it worth it? And I can only give you my personal... And these are these rants are my personal opinion, guys. You're more than likely to disagree with me. But don't be a dick. I don't know. You don't know what you're talking about, man. I've been wearing perfumes and colognes and shit, like I said, for fucking almost fucking 30 fucking years now. I know what I'm talking about. You know, I'm wearing perfumes and fucking colognes longer than most of you fuckers have been alive. So don't give me that bullshit. Uh, my personal opinion, they're not. They're not. They're not worth it. There's, there's, there's so many designer fragrances out there that smell similar or, or smell better. Even than, than these creeds. Uh, on my skin, with the exception of green Irish tweed, I get about an average of about five hours. And they only project for about an hour. It's a fucking, the fucking golden boy right now of the community is fucking Creed Aventus. Everybody's oh, Creed Aventus. No, man. No, I don't. I don't. That's the worst on me. Said if I'm lucky, I get four hours out of it, and projections maybe an hour. Now that could be my skin. I I understand that. Uh, but I also find a lot of people that are buying it, and posting their pictures, and scent of the day. Look what I'm wearing: Creed, Green Irish Tweed, or fucking Aventus, or fucking you know, whatever. It's more of a status symbol. Like they're impressing someone. Who are you impressing? Most of the people in these Facebook groups and, and, and message boards and shit like that, you're not impressing any of us because we have it. We either have had it or we have it. Or you fall into my situation where you've had it. You know, you've got the money to buy it again if you want. 
but you're just not going to because it's no good on you. And, and that's something nobody seems to say. Like, everybody's, are they afraid? I mean, I can't say anything bad about Creed. Everybody will be on me. You know, no, if you don't like something, fucking say it. And it's not even that I don't like it. The scents are, I mean, the scents aren't incredible. Don't know. Like I said, there's a lot of designer scents out there that are fucking way better. Uh, fall into the same vein and shit. Uh, Creed, yeah, Ventus, for example, I really like, uh, uh, English Laundry Tahitian Waters. I think that's way better. Sa same, doesn't smell the same or anything, but it's in that same family vein type deal as, as, uh, Virgin Island Waters. I mean, it smells way better, lasts way longer, projects way better than fucking the Creed ever did. Uh, and that could be the use of natural oils. I talked about that before, natural versus synthetic. The thing, natural oils on me anyway, don't last as long. They just don't. Synthetics, synthetics, synthet, synthetics, Jesus, tongue tied. Synthetics were made to last longer, project better, be cheaper, and they do all that on my skin. But anyway, I'm not getting into that. All I'm saying is what I would say to the people who, first off, if you're trying to use your, your bottle of Creed as a status symbol, you're not impressing anyone. No one. No one. We've all, everybody either, like I said, especially in these fragrance groups, like we're all in, we, we know Creed, we have Creed, we've had Creed. You're not impressing no one. No. No, it's not impressing anyone. Uh, you know, I could go buy every Creed bottle, fucking perfume, cologne, whatever, right now if I want it. I don't want it. <laughs> like I said, the, the, the four or five that I've had, just they just weren't worth the money. And other than Green Irish Tweed, which lasted about six hours and projected for a couple hours, it was okay. But then again, like I said, you can get things that don't smell identical. Don't fucking beat me up here. But something like Cool Water, it's got the same vibe to it. Aspen, the same. Aspen's like 10 bucks. Fuck Cool Water, you get for 20. And they, 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 Aspen lasts longer than both of them. Projects better than both of them. I mean. So, so if you want it as a status symbol, then that's fine. I guess if it, if it you have to justify your... Your, your your worth on your bottle of cologne that you have and how everybody sees you with it. And yeah, I guess, I mean, if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. That's cool, whatever. Uh, but what I would say to the people who haven't really got into the Creed yet, or any niche fragrances, you know, the private blend, Tom Ford's private blend, I mean, I'm not sure if it's niche, but it's niche enough. And that shit don't last at all. Holy fuck. A couple hours out of that shit the half a dozen that I own there too, and that's nothing. Uh, but what I would say, guys, is get a small decant for $20, $30 and try them out. Don't waste $400, $500 fucking dollars on a bottle of perfume that just, unless you want to waste your money. On a status symbol, well, not at that point, buy something else. Don't buy three or four bottles of Creed. Buy yourself a used fucking car and spend a couple thousand on it and make it a status symbol. Fucking pimp that shit right out. And again, I'm not saying they're they're gross or anything. They they smell okay. Not four hundred dollars okay, but they smell okay. And they last okay, like I said, four or five hours. But they're just not worth the money, guys. Just stop. You fucking stop. It's just, it's, it's, I don't know, you motherfuckers. You fucking get like all day out of this. You know? I don't know, man. My skin, just every creed I've worn, just fucking. No. And people are like, well, did you get batch Z01772 fucking from 1996 or fucking. I've had a couple of different batches of Aventus, and they don't smell different. 
I don't care. They might smell different to fucking somebody who's right into Aventus. But for your average, everyday fucking Joe, batch number ZZ01 smells exactly like batch number fucking ZZ123. You know? I don't, I don't get that at all. I don't get that at all. Man, that's, that is stupid. I don't care. I'll argue that point with anybody any day. That is fucking stupid. This one has more fucking, more of a woody base, and this one is more fruity off the top. No, they smell fucking identical. Fuck. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Buy yourself a little decants if you want to try it. As cheap as you can. Try them before you buy them, because they ain't cheap. And I think a lot of you will regret it when you get it and realize that it's not a fucking... It doesn't put every fucking designer cologne you have or fucking even cheaper than designer cologne you have to shame. It's, it's okay. You'll be upset. You spent four or $500 on it because you could have got fucking four or five good designer fragrances that do the same thing and last better, longer, and all that stuff. <laughs> but I mean, it's in my opinion, my skin... My nose, I understand everybody's different, but I really think Creed It's just overpriced. I'm not going to say overrated because it, it does smell good, but just overpriced. I think the shit is overpriced. You know, I, I, I wouldn't spend any more in fucking designer prices on it, really, honestly, because I don't find it that good. Again, my opinion... I'm allowed to have it, just like you're allowed to have yours. So, uh, peace, love, be good to each other, ladies and gents.